Are you looking for the best deal ever? Well, guess what? You're not alone. Millions and millions of people all over the world, including here in the United States, are looking for the best deals. This means on cars, on real estate, on insurance. Everything is a deal. They're looking for value. Well, that's exactly what Walmart came out and said just today, that yes, the American consumers are looking at value. We are now bargain hunters. That's what they're saying. So I'm gonna break down what's going on, why this is a good thing, but why this should be somewhat concerning to certain people moving forward. So I'll break all this down in just a moment, but all I ask is one thing, takes two seconds, go ahead, hit that like button if you enjoy these daily updates, and now let's begin. So let's get right down to it. What did Walmart just say? Well, Walmart is lifting their full year outlook on bargain hunting shoppers. It says the retail giant market share or the retailers um, gains market share driven by higher income consumers. So it's not the low income consumers anymore. It says e-commerce sales grew 22% in the US led by pickups in the marketplace. Yeah, it's an interesting time. But here's the reason why I wanna show you this. It's not because Walmart is having a, a good day, right? Their stock is up, no. It's because of this right here. What their chief financial officer, John David Rainey said in an interview just today, he says, we are seeing that the consumer continues to be discerning, choiceful and value seeking. Says we are not seeing any incremental frame of our customers financial health. Okay, that's good news, but again, he goes on to say, and I want just want to point this out, okay? This is the CEO, Doug McMillan. He says this, we aren't experiencing a weaker consumer overall. They want value. They want a broad assortment of items and services. Now, here's where things get interesting. Everybody wants value. Just look at this, Chipotle. It says it's a top Goldman pick as competition shifts towards consumer value. But Ch Chipotle isn't the only one. Look at this one. It says Urban Plates reinvents everyday value menu with the 12 uh, meals under $12. Okay, And look at this one. Kraft Heinz and Dollar General build, build shared data strategy to meet consumer value mentality. Now. All those have one thing in common, value. We want value, okay? We want the best deal ever. I was talking to somebody just the other day and they were telling me that they found the best deal ever, found the best deal on a car, so they purchased it. I don't know if that was the best deal, maybe at the time, but again, prices are still going down. But here's what I think is interesting, Walmart, is in that value mentality. But here's the difference between Walmart and somebody like a Foot Locker, somebody like a, uh, an electronic store, a furniture store. Walmart sells everything. They sell groceries, they sell pet supplies, they sell sporting goods, they sell, sell uh, you know, fitness equipment, they sell stuff for as far as furniture and lawn and garden stuff. They sell pools, right? Electronics, they sell everything. Here's the issue. According to experts, they say the concern right now is for those stores that sell niche specific products. For instance, Foot Locker. They sell, or finish line, they sell shoes, right? Sporting goods. That is very specific. This is why places like Walmart, Target, Amazon, Costco, they're doing fairly well because they sell so many different products. Now, the experts are concerned because they say somebody like a bike shop, 
Well, if you are selling just Trek bikes, just specialized bikes, right? What do you do? What do you do when consumers can't pay $3,200 for a bike? Well, Walmart is still selling bikes. They sell them for what, a few hundred bucks? Well, it's because they're offering value. They're offering an assortment of different products that they're getting for a very deep discount and they're giving to, to you, not for double the price. Walmart's making just a small percentage. Okay, so what does that mean moving forward? Well, experts are concerned. We are about to see layoffs. We're about to see you know, tens or hundreds of thousands of stores closed down because they don't sell everything under the sun. They sell bikes, they sell books, they sell shoes or electronics or furniture. That's all they sell. Now, what does this mean for you? Well, if more people lose their job, we're going to see unemployment go up. As we do, what's going to happen is people are going to be unable to pay for their food, their meals, pay for their rent. They likely won't be able to pay for their car payments, their utility payments. They likely will not be able to pay for their medical bills, their credit card debt, right? And we will see consumers completely flip. Right now, Walmart says they aren't seeing, um, experiencing a weaker consumer overall. I think we are. Experts believe consumers are becoming a little bit weaker, but we are still using credit card debt. We're still using and pulling money from 401ks, right? We're selling our assets like uh, you know, some people are selling their homes, others selling their cars, sell their cars, their tools, things like that, because that is all that they have. So I just want to leave you with that, but just understand the American people are looking for the best deal ever. Walmart is able to give them those deals. Amazon can give them those deals. Target can give them those deals. However, the other stores, not so much. So as we get more information on this, I promise I will bring you all the latest news and updates as soon as we get it. But as of right now, experts will believe the American consumer is somewhat strapped. It's only a matter of time before we see it in the economy. So again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next one.